sun is the center of our solar system as a giant ball of plasma. It's pretty hard to miss a minute. It's 30 million degree center. You would see hydrogen fusing to helium and release energy. Magnetic field to solar flares and chronal mass ejections and harvest from these first stemmed electronic connections. It's 100 times wider than Venus miles far. Despite all of this, it's just an average sized star. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and the Venus made of hydrogen and helium. Yes, like a balloon. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, and as such, it takes the least time to run around its orbit. Its year is only 88 Earth days, and the solar wind means that little gas stays on its rocky surface, barren and full of craters. With no atmosphere, its temperature wavers from 800 Fahrenheit to minus 300 at night, but there is still some ice and craters away from the light. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and the Venus made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. Venus is the second planet from the sun. It's the same size as Earth, give or take some. Venus is covered in a thick layer of clouds made of carbon dioxide, which in effect shrouds a planet from losing heat like a giant blanket. So it's 900 degrees due to the greenhouse effect. It's covered with volcanoes and a ship by their powers. The only folks that ever landed died within two hours. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and the Venus made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. The Earth is the third planet from the sun. I got a feeling you're familiar with this one. It's the only planet kind of known to have had life in its history. Though just how life started, it's still a bit of a mystery. Four billion years ago, two protoplanets collided, and our moon was from one collision. It reunited Earth in the Goldilocks zone. Not too hot nor too cold. From liquid water to exist in life as we know it to take hold. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and the Venus made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun, and it's the place where our voyage to other planets has begun. The surface is covered with red iron oxide, much of the atmosphere is blown away with no magnetic field inside. Early astronomers saw canals everywhere, and they thought perhaps aliens had put them there. Thanks to telescopes, orbiters, and rovers, we now know that there are no such alien canals, although... Rivers, deltas, volcanoes, and canyons abound. There's little water left with life on Mars can still be found. So we sent spacecraft there, a curiosity to try and understand Mars's geologic history. Between the inner planets and outer planets, there are billions of asteroids orbiting in a belt around our stars. Sometimes they are knocked out of their stable orbit. And if you might collide with Earth, if they don't avoid it, why the belt? Well, it has to do with Jupiter, you see. It pulls on the belt with its massive gravity, preventing asteroids from forming into another planet. But don't worry, a big one can't hit Earth soon, or can it? Jupiter's the fifth planet, it's the largest one, bigger than all the others combined, but only a thousandth the sun. It's a gas giant, so it has no ground on which to stand, but that doesn't mean its surface is bland. The great red spot is a giant cyclone on its surface, its centuries old and huge. Bigger than the Earth is, there are four moons that with binoculars you can see. Discovered in 1610 by Galileo Galilei. EU has volcanoes heated by the friction of its tide, and Europa is covered in ice with an ocean inside. Ganymede is the largest moon we know exists, and Callisto is covered in craters from the asteroids it hits. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and the Venus made of hydrogen and helium gas like balloon. Saturn. The sixth planet from the sun in terms of beauty I'd say its rings have clearly won They're made of bits of ice and rock orbiting through the void And they may have been formed when a moon was destroyed Saturn is the least dense of any planet known And the most elated centrifugal force is really shown Titan is methane lakes and a thick orange haze And Enceladus has water in liquid phase Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars Are the first four planets rocky like ours Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and the Venus made of hydrogen and helium Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun, and dirty jokes about its name are deserving of shun. Not much is known about Uranus or its brother Neptune, because Voyage 2 is the only craft you ever look to them. Uranus has rings, though not as great as Saturn's, and it's usually devoid of any interesting patterns. There's not much more about this place, which I can say, but hopefully we'll send a new spacecraft there someday. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are the first four planets rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and the Venus made of hydrogen and helium gas like a balloon. Neptune is 
the eighth and final planet from our star. The sun's point one percent is bright because it is so far. It's similar to the Uranus in the mass size and composition. And Uranus is orbit predicted its position. You may have noticed Neptune when he is a bright blue. The methane in its atmosphere gives them the two it's the windiest with thousand mile per hour gusts. And Titan's liquid nitrogen spewing from its crust. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. The Earth, four planets, rocky like ours. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The ninth planet was Pluto, but it's a planet no more because it's too small, it's a dwarf planet, but this topic soar. The planets were very close to a plane, but Pluto does not have more dwarf planets were found, that's what got this topic hot. Pluto's big one care on, is Pluto's little brother, so we got Pluto and Kiran, we wreck one another. Beyond the comfort belt is the Oort cloud, and that's what Jimmy from our stars formation can be found. It's like Earth and Mars are not alone, just look at the stars You see, most stars have their own collection of bodies And that is what the search for exoplanet studies There are more and more stars up there than you can see 300 billion in our galaxy